The course key stats tool for this season is probably one of the biggest overhauls to any tool that I've done with the idea in mind to continue to give you the most important stats on a weekly basis, but also give you the ability to look at any stats that you are interested in. And I believe that I have accomplished that, but there's a lot going on here. So I want to make sure we're talking through this. So just to recap, if you are new, I run a correlation model between the 145 PGA tour statistics by every season. And I compare that to every single golfer's finishing position by tournament and by course. And when you run all of that through for the last, um, I think this, this most recent model is like six years, you start to see trends and you start to see correlations. So you start to find out the stats that are most important at each one of these courses. Obviously, you know, if you have small greens, strokes gained approach might be more important on a certain week uh, compared to if you have very large greens or if you have small greens, maybe strokes gained around the green is more important because guys are missing more greens. It's those types of things that we're looking at and then taking that information and then finding the golfers that fit the mold, the course fit for what you should expect a player to find success for. So across the top, um, I've got three different tables for you. And this example that I'm showing you is for the tour championship. So this is for East Lake Country Club. And on the top left, the most important stats, that is based on East Lake, which stats rank the highest. So if you look at you know consecutive cuts made or current streak without a three putt, those are more important at East Lake than any other course. So that's the way to read it. Current streak without a three putt is more important at the tour championship than any of the other 49 golf tournaments that um, I track in my recent, my recent database. Now, what you'll notice is because there are so many stats on the PGA tour, some of these are pretty wonky and I don't know, like, like this is what the actual correlation is, but how useful they are is a different conversation. Like consecutive cuts made, that might not be a great one. Um, current streak without a three putt, that's probably not that predictive. It might say that that guy's a good putter, but like some of these are, I don't want to say useless, but they're a little noisier than other ones are. So then what I do is in the second column, I show you which are the highest correlated stats. So this is based on the correlation number. So in this case, of course, at the Tour Championship, FedEx Cup playoff points is going to be a big correlator because all of those guys are the tops in FedEx Cup points, okay? Now, that makes sense, and usually the cream rises to the, to the top there. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm showing you the, the, the highest correlated stats, but the rank should show you that might not be that important. So even though strokes gained approach is the second highest um, – value this week, it is a high value every single week. So it's actually seventh at the tour championship when you compare it to the other tournaments. Now that's still pretty good. Some of these are worse, like official money being on the, on the money list. That's going to be high every single week because the better players win more money. That makes sense. But it's 34th out of 49 here at the tour championship. So I included this table just so you can kind of compare, Hey, here are the ones that are, here are the stats that are most highly correlated, but showing you the rank gives you a better feel for how they fit into the bigger PGA tour picture. And then what I did um, on the right hand side is the most common stats. So the stats that I think are the best to look at correlation for. Uh, that is because they are usually just better stats. Like the strokes gain stats are the best stats that we have on the PGA Tour at the moment. They allow you to really, um, you know, they're, they're so comprehensive in, in how they're calculated and you always have a huge sample size. Some of these, like you might see stats that are putts from, from 35 to 40 feet. Well, you know, pretty small sample size. If a guy drops a couple of those, it shoots him up the ranks. That's a pretty noisy stat. But strokes gained... Stats are not noisy. They're great. 
birdie or better percent, driving accuracy, driving distance. Those are the ones that come into play more often than not. So then I'm showing you those values and how they rank at the tour championship. So believe it or not, a lot of these don't correlate that well to success or actually negatively correlate. Um, but still, again, strokes gained approach is always going to be important. It's very important here. Strokes gained off the tee is second. You'll see strokes gained putting down towards the bottom of most lists, but really important to take a peek at that one. That's the one that I like the most. And then the bottom of this tool is really where a lot of the overhaul came in. And this is what I'm super excited about. So on the right hand side, I've, I've taken the most common stats um, that you saw in that, that table in the upper right. And I'm just showing you the field this week, their salaries and how they rank in all of those stats. So you can click through this table and sort by any one of these stats. If you want to see um, who leads in strokes gained uh, off the tee or who leads in birdie or better. You can sort by any of these. The, the conditional formatting, the coloring, obviously red is worse. White is kind of neutral and that green is good. Um, so even when you get to like scoring average, it's opposite, right? The, the higher numbers are red because obviously you want to have a lower score. So this is similar to what I did last year, uh, but you you can now always just see these stats. You can sort by them. But the left-hand side is brand new. And the left-hand side is what I've never offered before, which is the ability for you to go through and look at the players in the field based on any of the 145 PGA stats that you have here. Now, I tried to make this as simple as possible because there's so many of them and a lot of them are similarly named or they overlap a little bit. Um, so first start with the stat category. So um, if you know if you go to the PGA Tour stat, this is also how they are uh, how they are separated. So if I only want to see off the T stats, I click off the T, and then my stats down here change from um, you know club uh, from whatever we were looking at before to club head speed, driving distance, strokes gained off the T, etc. So if I click um, driving distance on all drives. Here on this bottom section, nothing else should change, right? Nothing else in this in this table changes or on this tool changes, except this table down here at the bottom, which shows you, okay, Rory is number ranked number one. That's on tour, not in this field, in driving distance on all drives. And here is the value for that, 304 yards. Um, if you want to know, you know, right rough tendency, Ches Reavy rarely hits the ball in the right rough. I mean, he hits a lot of fairways in general, but never does it in the right rough. So if we have some type of note where, or even, um, you know, left, left rough tendency might be a good one for the tour championship because there's a lot of water left off the tee. And, you know, look at that. Ches Reavy ranked sixth. He had a great week. That's obviously not the only reason he had a great week, but these are the types of things that you can now look at on this tool. Um, again, you can sort by any of these columns here and you're only going to be able to choose one stat at a time, um, which I think is fine. You have all of your main common stats over here, but if you want to take a deeper dive into these, and there's a ton of them. I mean, the streaks one is just kind of fun to look at. Um, you can come in here and say, who's hit the most consecutive greens in, in regulation? Or what's the current streak without a three putt? I mean, there's a lot of stuff for you to go through. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. Um, but now you have access to all this, which I know uh, is something that I've, I've had requested multiple times and I, and I wanted to be able to give you access to this and now it is available for you. So I hope you enjoy.